KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we have a mixed bag out here. You've got the NASDAQ and the NASDAQ Composite trading higher. 92 points for the NASDAQ Composite, six tenths of a percent, about a half a percent for the Composite. Uh, for the NDX 100 is six tenths. The NASDAQ Composite, about a half a percent or 65 points. Otherwise, everything else trading to the downside. You've got the uh, Indies, the Dow down 169 points, a half a percent. The S&P is basically flat. The Russell's off seven tenths of a percent or 50 points semis down nine tenths or 31 out here um you know the one thing we watch we're going to switch over and take a look at our indice charts out here when we look at the indice charts we'll talk about the number of td9 count patterns that are there in some cases they're not um one thing and so those td9 counts the, the top that we're anticipating is going to form today in the s p the nasdaq one that's already exists in the dow equity future contract but not the dow that uh, we could see prices move um in fact lower but the one thing that could get in the way is this chart right here and this is really just specifically with regard to the euro and the euro is trading lower at this stage here that is capital that is fleeing europe coming to the u.s how do we just come to the u.s if we take a look at the u.s dollar index that's moving higher so that's pretty easy and it's just simply the flight to quality is still even with all the crazy stuff going on uh, is still inside the u.s it's still the u.s dollar because it is the reserve currency and that includes u.s dollar oriented assets such as our stock market out there so just want to be able to point that out meantime let's go take a look at in the time that we have left let's go take a look at our indice charts out here so you can see what they're signaling to us when you don't see on the upper left hand side a td9 count for the dow so we've got a little bit of divergence that the equity future contract does, the indice does not. The S&P is going to form a TD9 count today, just like the ES Mini, the NDX 100, a TD9 count, just like the NQ out there. But remember, it could be tomorrow's high that could be the high of the pattern. The Russell 2000, just a sideways consolidation. The semis do not. The semi index does not have a TD9 count, but the SMH does. And that's just simply because of the way that it deals with uh, uh, dividends and so forth. In the case of the transports, price just got up to its resistance level at the 16618 level it's possible the new york stock exchange will form a td9 count today it needs to close above the close of bar number five that's at 16735 if it closes above that the new york stock exchange as well as nasdaq composite which is trading higher will give us those td9 counts so folks stay tuned your favorite polar bears up next david white it's gonna be a great show and i'll see you back here tomorrow one o'clock sharp have a magnificent a magnificent monday take care be safe out there